If I had to make a list of all the top asked questions over the 10 years of making videos, somewhere near the top would be, how hot is that laser, or what's the temperature of a laser beam? Now there are some inherent issues with this question, which I'll get to in a little bit, but this still seems like a good excuse to break out some giant lasers and blow some things up in the name of science. Today I'm going to break out a 5 watt laser, as well as a little bit of math, in an attempt to try answering this question. You might suggest, well why can't we just stick a thermometer in the laser beam? That should tell us the temperature, right? Well, you can try. Let's try taking a temperature reading on that laser. All right. It's boiling. Ha! So at least 120 degrees. Looks like that thermometer took one for the team in the name of science. But in reality, the issue runs a lot deeper than our thermometer is just not going high enough. In reality, a laser beam doesn't actually have a temperature. Temperature is proportional to the amount of thermal energy in an object. For most stuff that you encounter in your daily lives, this is linear. So for some object at 1000 degrees Kelvin, that's going to have twice as much energy as the same object at 500 Kelvin. Lasers are rated by their power output. And now power and energy are related, they are not the same thing. In fact, power is a rate. Just like speed is the rate of distance per time, power is the rate of energy per unit time. So yes, they are related, but they are distinct quantities. So if a laser is rated at 5 watts, that means it outputs 5 joules per second of energy. So now you're probably thinking, well if I take an object and hit it with a laser, it should be easy to calculate how hot it gets after X amount of time, right? Well, not exactly. In fact, many, many variables come into play here. This is a really difficult question to answer. For one, as you begin heating up the object, the object itself is going to start losing energy by blackbody radiation. And then also, the heat equation shows us that some of that heat is going to start diffusing into the surroundings. And then also, there are air currents around, and those air currents are also going to bring away heat. So, and honestly, there's probably even more equations here that would be useful for this. So the answer to this question is going to be some combination of these equations that's straight from the mouth of hell. As a side note, this is actually a million dollar question. It's one of the Millennium Prizes. So if you can prove or disprove that solutions to this equation always exist, and if they exist, that they're mathematically smooth, you'll actually get paid a million dollars. So get on that, subscribers. Now with all that being said, we can get some ballpark estimates on the max temperature of the spot of the laser, simply by sticking stuff in the beam, seeing what burns and melts, and then comparing it with the known values for those materials. This solder melts at 188 C. So we know it can at least get that hot. A match lights at around 200 C. Just a bit higher than that, paper ignites around 230 C. A candle will ignite at around 250 C. Yeah, try to ignore the massive storm outside. PVC doesn't burn until about 450 degrees C. When you block out the blue light with laser goggles, you can see that that surface is actually getting white hot. And going off of a black body radiation curve, that suggests a peak temperature of several thousand degrees. So all in all, a laser beam does not have a temperature, but a strong laser can heat up things quite nicely. And I guess that's about it for this video, so until the next time, stay safe and happy lasing.